Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do another gun review um, like I did with the Ruger American. And today it's going to be on my muzzleloader since I do a lot of muzzleloading. I've killed a lot of deer and a couple elk with one. And I thought I'd share my setup, which is pretty simple. And so if anyone's interested in getting into muzzleloading, I would highly recommend this muzzleloader because it has lasted, it's been probably eight years and I've killed a lot of animals with it and it's been really reliable the whole time. So this gun is the CVA Elkhorn Pro Magnum bolt action, 50 cal. And it, here in Washington, you have to use open sights when you're muzzleload hunting. And so it's definitely a little bit of a handicap, but it makes it a lot, a lot more fun to be able to have to get closer to the animals. And so what I'm using with this gun is these Hornady SST low drag sounded bullets and with the percussion caps number 10. And today I'm actually gonna switch it up and I'm trying the triple seven Hodge uh, powder. And I usually use this, the Jim Shockey's gold, but it's getting harder and harder to find. So I'm gonna switch it up today and see how it shoots with it. This is the muzzleloader that I shoot right here. The nice thing about it is it's super light. It's only like six pounds and bolt action, which is pretty handy, keeps the primer enclosed when it's wet outside or raining, not all the way, but keeps it somewhat protected. And it's pretty affordable too. You can get this muzzleloader for, I believe it was 300 or under. Um, I have been looking it up and finding about more information on it. It looks like it is getting a little bit harder to find in some stores. Um, Cause the, I think the CVA is switching to more of the break open action, like what my brother uses. And I can do a, another video on that if you guys are interested. But um, I just have really liked this gun. So I'm gonna load it up and shoot it. And I'll show you guys how it shoots. This is my loader that I use for the powder. I use 110 grains normally. Um, I might start it at 100 today just to see where it's hitting at because I think this powder is going to burn a little bit hotter. So I'll probably start it at 100 and we'll see where it hits from there. I always take this part off the cleaning portion one because it's flat on it and I don't want it to dent in the bullet at all. So I use this end that doesn't affect the tip of the bullet. Make sure it's in there tight. Don't want any spacing or anything. Okay, so now all I gotta do is add the primer and it'll be ready to go. I wanna make sure that the primer's on there tight too. So there's no space in there. So it throws that spark right down with the powder. Okay, so that's ready to go. It's on safe now. Ooh, 
heck yeah that was actually that shot really well that so this is only at 50 yards right now um okay, i just want to see where it's hitting with this new powder but that is that is a really good shot right there so i'm actually gonna go ahead and shoot out to 100 now and see it's it's high but i mean i want it to be a little high so if i have to shoot out there towards uh 50 or, or i mean 150 yards or something it i don't have to adjust too much i'm just looking on the camera right now that's awesome that's good so i'm gonna go ahead and reload this thing i gotta clean it and then go ahead and shoot out to 100 yards and see where it's hitting there Okay, so after just watching that video, it hit probably 16 inches high. So um, I'm gonna have to lower the sight now and we'll see if, hopefully that'll change it. I can get it on the paper now because it hit probably three inches above where the um, target is, so. Okay guys, I just adjusted the sight a little bit. So hopefully I'll be on the target now and we can adjust from there. Okay guys, that shot was right where I would want to be. That's like two, three inches high. I was good left to right. And so I'm gonna shoot one more and hopefully it's in the close vicinity as that last bullet and I'll call that good. You guys can see it right there, right towards the top of the triangle. So I'll take that for sure. Okay guys, that one was also a pretty good shot. It was a little bit farther right, but there's a lot of variability at 100 yards when you have open sights. I mean that just the front sight covers up the whole first six inches of it. So um, I'm, I'm happy with how it's shooting right now. It's not a bad group out there. And with this new powder, it's shooting really well. So I feel comfortable for deer season out to 150 yards or so. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my muzzleload setup that works really well for both deer and elk and probably any other game that you'd want to hunt with it but um yeah i definitely recommend this gun if you guys can find it it's affordable it's lightweight and yeah so there's one last look at it again i definitely definitely recommend it these bullets ornery sst with the triple seven powder and the uh, uh, small percussion caps. This is a shot one, small percussion caps, number 10. If you guys have any questions, any more questions about this setup that I'm using, feel free to ask in the comments or DM us on uh, Instagram at Washington Hunt Trap and Horns. That'd probably be the best way to get a hold of us right now, but um, I'll try to get this video up as soon as possible. and. Yeah, feel free to hit us up with any questions you may have or if you have any other recommendations of setups for muzzleloader, I'd like to know too because I'm sure someday I'll want to upgrade. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. And thanks for the support, everyone.